it's hard to describe, but it's, um, we woke up at eight o'clock and got out of the tent and it's, it's, it's a decent hour to get up at and then you don't have to wait too long and there's sunlight. In December when we were doing this, even if you got out of your tent at seven, you were still waiting until nine, nine for the sun to come out. But right now, we've been out of our tent for half an hour. We have the fire going. We already boiled coffee. We're just contemplating life. And there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing stressful about this moment right now. We nothing just eat breakfast, pack up, and hike out. Hey friends, hope everybody had a great summer of hiking and backpacking. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I'm kind of chilly. I'm outside right now and uh, summer is almost over in Alberta. You know, unofficially we always say that September long weekend is the end of summer, which makes the timing of this uh, review um, quite timely. Yeah, you read the title. I'm reviewing a, um, a rechargeable hand warmer. And I don't do a lot of gear reviews. Um, it's not my thing. Uh, although I do get a lot of requests to review gear, but when, and and but once in a while I get a request that really piques my interest. And that was the case with this company. So this company is called uh, Okupa, and they actually um, reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review a rechargeable hand warmer. And the engineer in me was like, "Yeah, that sounds interesting. I'm curious to see what that looks like." And uh, in, it, interestingly enough, it's not a new product. They've sold like literally a million of these things, but I had never ever heard of this until now. So they sent me this one. They call this one the twins. It's two little ones. And then they sent me a, a bigger unit uh, that I'll probably show in this video or maybe even review f uh, in, in more detail in another video. Um, now, I, I, I don't think I'll be able to do an entirely justice to this thing because I like to try my gear in the field. So, uh, unfortunately, it's not winter yet and it's still relatively warm. So, I won't be able to totally test this thing. But I'll do as part two of this video as a you know, follow-up after this is I'll do an unboxing. I'll go through the features, show you what this is, try it at home. You know, I'll come up with a, a way of maybe testing it. And then uh, hopefully I get to, to test it in, more, um, in a more realistic uh, environment in the field. I mean, that's one of my things. That's, that's one of the reasons, um, you know, I, I, I feel that in order to do a proper review of a piece of gear, you have to use it for a long time. So I'll call this an unboxing. And then I'll pro if, if I really like it and I use it all winter long, then I'll do a, a long-term review. But, you know, and, and the reason I'm interested in this is because, you know, you've all seen these things. Um, these these hand warmers that are in a pouch, you know, I think these are ferrous oxide. You you um, you shake them, and then eventually they start to warm up. I carry oh, it's already warming up. I carry these as an emergency supply. I always have them in my backpack in the colder months. You know, if you're uh, at the end of the day and in, in, in camp and your hands are cold, you can warm them up. But the problem with these things is you um, once they're used, they're done um they're you know you have to dispose of them and uh and then the other problem is you don't always know how long they're going to work i mean they do kind of expire even though they're sealed there is you know chemical reactions kind of still go on and so sometimes you get one in the field and it ain't warm so it'll be interesting to compare how uh the technology and what somebody came up with to come up with a a rechargeable hand warmer um hope you enjoy this video all right, here we go. So this is the box. Uh, Okupa Union Twin Twos. And uh, what do you get in the box? Get some instructions. The ever popular barcode that you can scan with additional instructions. And then you get the, not one, but two units. Yeah. So here's what it looks like. It actually looks like, um, you know, it looks like, looks like one of these battery banks. Weighs about the same. We'll weigh it in a second. So there's, you know, nothing too much to it. Um, you can pull back this rubber. And uh, yeah, I did read the instructions. So that's the charging port and that's the discharging port. So it does act as a battery bank. And then there's an 
on off button. This one's not charged, so I'll have to charge it. Um, this one is charged. Nope, none of them are charged, so we'll have to charge them. Oh yeah, check this out, I think they're magnetic. Yeah, cool. Pretty heavy when they're combined into one. Yeah, they're, they're, they're polarized. And what else is in the box? Um, USB to USB-C, two of them. And a carrying pouch. All right, let's charge one of these. Quickly weigh it before we uh, go to, before we charge it. 113 grams or an ounces. 3.9 ounces. Just for comparison, um, one of these uh, disposable hand warmers is 1.1 ounces or 33 grams. And then let's bring that memory bank, uh, that uh, power bank, a power bank 71 grams. Okay. So 102 of them together should be 226, 223, there you go. All right, let's charge this. Okay, so the instructions here does say a couple of things. Um, it does say that there is no fast charging and you need to use a five volt block and recommends using the cables that it comes with. And also of note is uh, it is not waterproof, okay? So I got, uh, this is a Blackberry uh, charging block, but uh, most people have these at home. So uh, this is definitely a five volt one. Okay, got my charging block, got an extension cord coming on my desk, got my USB, open this side and plug in the USB. Like I said, this one is an output. So now it's plugged in. And if I turn it upside down and I look at it closely, I got two LED lights, two little lights. There's four in total. And according to the instructions, it's telling me that um, one light is five to 35%, two is 36 to 70, three is 71 to 99, and four little blue lights is 100% charged. So I'm gonna have to let this one charge for a while before I can do uh, the next part of the test, which is turn it on and see how quickly this thing heats up. Pretty straightforward otherwise. I mean, some of these devices are becoming so intuitive, you know, uh, and, and I'm guessing that once it's charged, these are blue and it's going to go, um, when I use it, when I use it, when I disconnect it, it's going to be a different color light to show me the, uh, the heat output. Now, um, there was another warning that came in here, and the other warning is to not turn this on while you are charging, and that kind of makes sense. It's not, it's not a device that you can leave plugged in. Um, it's meant to be charged and then disconnected, so you can't use it plugged into a power source. Okay, so for the interest of time, I'm, I'm going to disconnect it shortly here, but you can see one, two, three out of uh, four little blue dots. So it's, you know, it's 75, 80% charge kind of thing. So I'm gonna unplug it right now and you're gonna see these are gonna come off. So when I unplug it, all right, so now it comes off. Now it's turned off and uh, nothing's happening. Now um, I'm gonna take it to the shop and do, um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna turn it on and then I'm gonna measure with a, with a temperature device to show to you visually the change in temperature. Um, but just for now, I'm going to show you how you turn it on. So you turn it on by holding down the button. And there you go. So one red light came on. And if I hold it down for a couple of seconds, there's no red light. So it's off. Okay. So now it's off. Now I'm going to turn it back on, hold it down. Okay, so it's on. Now, every time I give it a quick, uh, wow, I can already feel it warming up in my hands. Like seriously, that's crazy. So now if I click it once, now you got two little lights, three little lights. I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see the lights. Four little lights, that's on maximum setting. Trust me, folks, 
It is crazy. Wow, I can feel the heat in there. So I can't wait. To, I'm going to go to the shop. I'm going to show you how this thing works in the shop uh, and show you with a temperature recording device how quickly the temperature changes. Wow, it is hot in my hand. Absolutely fantastic. Wow, cool. Back to low setting. Turned off. Let's take it to the shop. I'm in my shop. Uh, I'm going to use a, this is called a, it's a digital handheld thermometer. And so with this, I can actually monitor the temperature of something. So I'll show you how quickly when you turn it on, the hand warmer gets heated. Now this was in my pocket. So if I look at it, it's 18 degrees right now. And now I'm going to turn it on. So one dot, and I'm going to put it on high to kind of accelerate the test. And I can tell you right now, it's already heating up. So watch this. It was 18 degrees. It's already at 23, 24, 25. So I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds here, see what it does. Let me... Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, thirty. Isn't that crazy? According to the video, about a minute has gone by, 31. A little bit on the side there, colder on the side. Definitely warmer on the top. Thirty-three. Trust me, when I hold it in my hands, it's really cool. It is warmed up. That's wild. This thing totally works. All right, I'm gonna turn it off and then I'm gonna get a reaction video. I'm gonna get uh, my wife to hold it and maybe a couple of uh, strangers, see what they think. Yeah, so it's a quick unboxing. Um, the technology is sound, it does work. I mean, you, you, you charge it, you turn it on and it warms up quickly. I can feel it in my hands as soon as it's warming up. Um, you know, here, here, here's a, here's a glove. I mean, that's how I'd like to really test this. I want to test this in winter when it's say minus five outside, it's still too warm outside. I mean, I can walk around with bare hands, but, but if I was wearing gloves like this, you know, you put it in, it, you put it in your glove and it would warm up your hand while it's in your glove. Uh, another way to do it is to put it in a pocket and warm your hand up in your pocket, whether it's your jacket pocket or your, um, you know, pan pocket. So yeah, the, the it's an interesting idea and it works very well. I just, unfortunately, until it gets winter here, I can't properly test it, but uh, I'll, I'll get some reaction videos. I'm going to give it to people and let them see if they can figure out what this is and judge their reaction when they turn it on. What do you think that thing is? Well, you told me it was a hand warmer. Yeah, it's a hand warmer. So the way you turn it on is uh, if you flip it upside down, there's a little button. If you press and hold the button, for a couple of seconds, you'll see a little red dot come on. You see it? All four came on this time. Oh, so you hit oh, it. It turned on exactly at the last setting you were on. So just hold it in your hand. So it's on the max, which is perfect. I can feel it heating up now. Can you? Yeah. Just change hands, put it in the other hand. So, what do you think of it? I think it's warm. Yeah? Okay. Feels good. If it was just, what are you supposed to do with it? Put it in a glove or? Well, let's say you were going to a hockey game and watching a hockey game. How would you use it? You mean just have it in your pocket? Yeah, you could have it in your pockets or 
or you can uh, put it in your gloves and sit there like this with it. Yeah. <laughs> Switch them in and out. That's a neat idea instead of a disposable one. Yeah. Yeah, it would definitely keep you warm if you went to a hockey game or something like that. How long does it take for it to heat all the way up? Um, takes about a couple of minutes. And then uh, at that setting, at the maximum setting, it maxes out at 137 Fahrenheit. It's pretty warm right now. Is it warm? Yeah. You can easily turn it down by just clicking on the buttons. And if you click on the buttons, it goes back to... Oh, well, this time I went back to one. Yeah, so it starts at one and then it'll... And then so at, at one dot, it's on min and it's good for about eight hours, but it's cooler. At two dots, they call that uh, medium and then it's good for four or uh, six hours. Three dots is high and four dots is max. Excellent. No, I just wanted yeah. to get your reaction. Oh, it feels pretty warm, actually. It's on three right now. It's still really hot. Not hot, hot, but very, very warm. Excellent. Be good. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> actually, it's pretty warm. Like, my hand is red right now. <laughs>